I remember this patient that was 34 years of, of age, Gardi and GAA player. He clearly remembered an accident while playing GAA and he presented with acute traumatic medial meniscal tear. I will show you his MRI and the rationale for performing surgery on him. So this patient presented to me um, after uh, a GAA injury when he felt a tear in his knee. Um, Although he has improved with the physiotherapy and those symptoms, there were pain, swelling and stiffness have improved with rest. Every time he went back to exercising, he felt that the symptoms are, were getting worse. And these are affecting his ability to work as a Garda. On looking at the clinical exam, again, he, was, he had a normal alignment. Um, he had a slight stiffness that was very subtle and that was manifesting itself in the loss of hyperextension. Um, he had a positive McMurray, which is plain and click, clicking when twisting the knee. And he had the spot tenderness when palpating the posterior horn of the medial meniscus around the joint line. So these are his MRIs. And one can see the meniscus that is, has a component of a flap that is flipped into the tibia gut, whereas the lateral meniscus is lying flush to the joint. One can clearly see the meniscus that is flipped into the tibial gutter. The other thing that one notices is the small amount of bruising in the corner of the tibia. And this, if you outline the meniscus, you start with the medial meniscus that is flipped in there, whereas the lateral meniscus has its own shape being outlined on the axial views. When you look at the sagittal views on the MRI, the cartilage is well preserved and one can see the small tear, the white line in the medial meniscus posterior horn. And that is the bone bruising in the tibia and the tear that's flipped into the uh, medial gutter. So I'll just show you the MRI, the, the, Im the video of the arthroscopy, so you can realize that this will never do well with a conservative treatment. So you can clearly see how the meniscus is being flipped into the tibial gutter. Up is the femur, down is the tibia, and I, I am removing the meniscal tear from the tibial gutter. You can see my analogy from stone in the shoe type scenario where conservative treatment will not help this patient's symptoms. Um, and I go on and remove this part that is, acts like an irritant in this patient's knee. This patient went on and did extremely well immediately after surgery.